If you're looking to purchase a home in Boston, you may be considering Boston's downtown neighborhood. In this video, I will discuss what it's like living in downtown and will mention the pros and cons associated with living here. Downtown is made up of many different kinds of people and has something for everyone, from luxury living to green spaces and parks, high-end shopping, and world-class dining and entertainment. In this guide, we'll take a closer look at the pros and cons of living in downtown Boston in 2023, including its location, luxury buildings, shopping, dining, entertainment, green spaces, and cost of living. Whether you're a working professional, student, or a retiree, this guide will help you make an informed decision about whether downtown Boston is the right place for you. My name is Charlie Smith. I'm an agent and real estate advisor here in Boston, and I specialize in condo buildings and new construction properties. I get inquiries from people all over who want to live or invest in Boston. Check the description for my contact information and feel free to reach out day or night with any questions. Being located in the absolute middle of the city makes access to all over the greater Boston area quite easy. Downtown Boston is made up of Downtown Crossing, the Theater District, the Financial District, and Government Center. It is surrounded by Back Bay, Beacon Hill, the Waterfront District, and the South End. Residents of Downtown can get to pretty much anywhere they would need to go in the city by walking or via public transportation. The Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority, MBTA, also known as the T, operates the public transportation system in Boston and surrounding areas. The T is particularly convenient for getting around downtown Boston. There are four subway lines, red, orange, blue, and green, that intersect right in downtown. So whether you want to go to work, school, or get away from the city, the option is there. In terms of travel times, Cambridge is roughly 10 minutes away via the Park Street Station or 20 minutes away driving. The Longwood Medical Area is about 15 minutes away via train or 16 minutes driving. The Seaport District is 10 to 12 minutes away via train or bus and 20 minutes walking or driving. The South End and South Boston are both a five to 10 minute bus ride or a 20 to 30 minute walk. Brookline is around a 25 minute train ride or a 15 to 20 minute drive. The Financial District, Beacon Hill, and the Waterfront are all around a five to 10 minute walk. Overall, if you're a working professional or student, the central location is pretty difficult to beat for commuters. For many people, having a car downtown is entirely optional, as most places are walking distance and the public transportation reaches all over the state and beyond. Downtown residents have a pick between some of the best full-service and highest-rated luxury condo buildings in the country to choose from, including Millennium Tower, built in 2016 with 446 units, the residence's Ed Winthrop Center, built in 2023 with 314 units, Millennium Place, built in 2013 with 256 units, the Ritz-Carlton, built in 2001 with 350 units, the Parker, built in 2022 with 160 units, one Charles built in 2004 with 231 units, as well as many others. Not only are these excellent places to live, work, and relax, but condo units in these buildings are also an investment. With appreciation rates averaging 10 to 25%, the downtown Boston real estate market is one of the hottest in the United States, with people all over the world investing and residing here. Downtown Boston is a hub for high-end shopping, dining, and entertainment, offering locals plenty to experience. The area boasts an array of upscale retail destinations, including high-end boutiques, luxury department stores, and designer shops. For those looking to indulge in fine dining, the area offers a wide variety of upscale restaurants serving meals from around the world. From classic New England seafood to modern Italian, downtown has pretty much everything one would imagine, dining and drinking-wise. Directly in downtown is Downtown Crossing, which features the luxury designer outlets like Chanel and Gucci, as well as department stores such as Saks Fifth Ave, Nordstrom, and Macy's. Several blocks away, about 10 to 12 minutes walking, and three minutes one train stop away, is Newberry Street, which is famous for boutique shops, more luxury brands, and more dining. Part of downtown is the Theater District, which houses venues for concerts, performances, and of course, theater plays. TD Garden as well as Fenway Park are also very nearby and wouldn't take more than 15 minutes to get to. Downtown has an excellent selection of green spaces in which to walk, jog, or relax. 
the largest of which is Boston Common and Garden, which is America's oldest public park. This green space is 50 acres of grass, trees, paths, and a pond. There will often be events such as small concerts or formal slash informal gatherings. The Common not only holds a lot of historical significance, but is a great place to spend time and unwind. In between downtown and the waterfront is another public green space stretching one and a half miles long. This is known as the Rose Kennedy Fitzgerald Greenway. This is a newer, more contemporary space which was completed in 2008. This is a great place to go for a walk, jog, or relax and grab a bite from the food trucks. There are public events frequently as well as art, gardens, and a place to sit and eat. As seen on the map, there is no shortage of things to experience and explore when on the Greenway. The average price per square foot to purchase a condo downtown is $1,200 a square foot, with studios starting at $500,000, one bedroom starting at $750,000, two bedrooms starting at $1.2 million, and three plus bedrooms starting at $1.5 million. These are just averages and prices will be drastically different depending on which building you're buying in. In terms of rentals, the average monthly rent is $4,500 with studios starting at $1,600, one bedroom starting at $2,500, two bedrooms starting at $3,500, and three plus bedrooms starting at $4,000. Again, rental prices will vary depending on which building you're looking in. Some of the cheaper buildings to buy or rent in downtown are Tremont on the Common, Forecaster 121 Condos, and the Metropolitan. The more expensive buildings things include Winthrop Tower, Millennium Tower, and the Ritz-Carlton residences. In general, Boston is typically more expensive than the other areas of the country, with housing being 120% more costly than the national average. Groceries and food are around 10% higher than the national average, and transportation is 28% higher. Of course, this does not take into account that the average annual salary is much higher than other parts of the country as well. Parking in downtown Boston without a deeded or rented spot will be very difficult. Parking in a garage will cost anywhere from $300 to $500 a month, which is why it is good to look at homes which come with deeded spaces. Some people who do not use their parking spaces will sell them on the market and sometimes bring in upwards of $300,000 just for a spot. Driving downtown can be a hassle and drives which normally take 5 minutes can take upwards of 20 minutes when traffic is bad. It would be best to avoid driving between 4 and 5 p.m. as this is usually when the area experiences heavy traffic. Now because downtown is so central, there is a higher percentage of crime than surrounding areas like Back Bay, Fenway, and the waterfront. However, this is to be expected as Boston is a major city. The chances of being victim to a crime are less than 1%. However, it is still good to exercise the same caution you would in any other major city. In downtown, I would recommend not spending an excessive amount of time outside past 10 to 11 p.m., also avoiding the side streets of downtown crossing which are not lit up at night. Overall, downtown Boston is an excellent place to live with many unique things to do and try. Downtown Boston does have its advantages and drawbacks. The central location, luxury buildings, shopping, dining, entertainment, and green spaces make it a highly desirable place to live for many working professionals and students. However, the higher costs of living and traffic congestion can be a significant downside for some individuals. Ultimately, it comes down to preferences and priorities. If you value convenience, luxury, and access to a vibrant city scene, then downtown Boston might be the perfect place for you to call home. If you're interested in living in downtown Boston or would like to learn more about the greater Boston real estate market as it relates to living or investing, feel free to contact me anytime.